up here in Central Square on a Thursday night. Hope you caught the one we put up earlier with Chuck Akulis. Very fortunate to be able to chat with him uh, about the car he has in the Hall of Fame. We're going to have two more of those coming up in the next few days. This, on the other hand, is Jordan Button. This is Bob Bennett's son. He goes by Jordy. This is a car that is the same as last year, but boy, when you look at it, you wouldn't notice it. It really came out great. First of all, how's everybody doing? Good. Doing real well. Remember, he did sprints in 2022. Last year, did 358s. Did three shows at Brewerton, four at Fulton. I remember I talked to you at the end of the year. You were hoping you were going to get back out. There was a problem somewhere along the way, you told me. Yeah, we had a couple issues last year. Um, the one big one was the engine, so we had to get that freshened up. We were hoping to get back out for Outlaw, and it just didn't happen, but had a, a better chance to get regrouped and get something good together. So. Yeah, we're going to show you the car. Basically, all it needs right now is an engine, and we're not even into 2024 yet. So you told me, uh, would you bury the, temp the water temperature or something? Yeah, we had a little overheating issue, uh, which we kind of knew we were going to have because the week before, the water pump broke off of it. So um, we just took our chances. Uh, we knew it needed a rebuild, so uh, it didn't work out in our favor, and we decided to pull it out a little bit early. I think it was end of August maybe, maybe, maybe September. But we were trying to get back for Outlaw. It didn't happen, so... Uh, we're going to regroup and start fresh next year. What happens to the engine when you, when the water temperature just, as you said, buried? Uh, well, the head gaskets first off, but we warped the heads a little bit. So we had to we have did. those. Yeah. Um, we actually did kind of a quick job on it to get back out, and we raced it one more time after that. But it wasn't quite the same, and we knew it was lapped out. So we just pulled it out, and it's actually over to Mike Mosher's right now, and he's doing a pretty good piece for us this year. So we'll be fresh and ready to go. When you warp the heads, do you have to mill them? Yeah. Okay, a yeah. little bit or a lot, and does that affect compression? Um, it depends on how bad they are. Um, I've heard, you know, a couple thousands, but mm -hmm. mine and the bad case were like 15 or 20 probably, somewhere in there. Okay, and obviously you can't see that, right? You have to no, trust no. somebody. Or you can't put it flat yeah. on a table and go, oh, we warped them? Yeah, it's tough to see. I put a, a straight edge on it, and it's by the time you bring it over and let the professionals check it out, the, the regular ride is not so good. <laughs> okay. So when do we expect to have it race ready? When do you think we'll have the engine between the rails? Um, we're thinking probably, what, the middle of January, somewhere in there. And, nice. And uh, hopefully the pistons, I think, are all we're waiting for, and mm -hmm. we should be good to go. That is still the number one item most engine builders are waiting for, That's right? what we're hearing, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully they'll get that taken care of here very soon. I'm going to zoom out here as we talk about the car, but uh, different look this year. What were we thinking? Yeah, definitely. Different. Uh, I was going to go black and gold. Um, I kind of wanted to do something to, you know, support breast cancer awareness and my wife, obviously, and uh, pink and black just kind of popped in my head is a good thing to do. Um, and this is what we got. Dan did a real good job with it. So uh, I added some blue in there. So I still got some of my colors in there. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, around yeah. that. Okay. All right. And I like that it's not the 06 anymore it's the 06 <laughs> was that your idea or was that yeah we did this uh like 2016 actually the last year i ran sportsman 2016 i did that that style and i really liked it it was something different it wasn't you know the same as everybody else's number so uh we went back to that with the sprint car and then again here with the 358 so mm -hmm. and the nice thing is when you're working with somebody uh, like dan um you know you can you can get a design and go no 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 let's do that you said there was one he had that was just a little busier i think was the word that you used yeah he gave me quite a few designs and we just kind of picked i i had in my mind i knew what i wanted you know uh -huh. but i couldn't put it on paper so he actually hit it right on the head with exactly what i envisioned you know it's simple and it's cool looking and it's supporting a good cause and uh I never thought I'd have pink on my car, but I like it. You ever had a black car before? Yeah, I had a lot of black cars. So, okay. And that, obviously the key, like we were talking about earlier, another incident that we're not going to get into here, you want to make sure it's visible because some tracks are lit better than others and you don't want to have somebody miss you like if you got sideways. Yeah, and I like bl the bright colored cars anyway. So mm -hmm. So what is this? It's chassis and This is a big now chassis. It's a 17. It's a little bit older, mm -hmm. um, but it's really straight. We actually got it from a friend of mine, Matt Becker. Uh, he had, a, I believe it was Jason Parker's car before that, but uh, it's straight. It's a good car. Um, we don't really see any need to go and spend a boatload more money for a chassis when this one does the job. Okay. Short rods, left side, uh, pan art, it, all that stuff? So it was a short rod. Um, obviously had the conversions on it, but I left the left side short rod, long rod this year on the right side. And uh, still going to stay with the left side pan hard. Okay. Know, and 
give so it's it. kind of in between almost then, right? Are they run shorts on the right also then nowadays yeah. or no? Yeah, you can do either. I had the conversion on that side. Um, I didn't really like it, so I took it off. I'm going to try the long rod, so we'll okay. see where we go. What's the thinking there? Uh, just the, I think it's just driver preference, really. Okay. Um, I would prefer to have the long rod on there. It kind of fits my driving style a little more. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, who knows? I might change it back. I, it's all going to be. And you kinda, can do that the way it's set up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, going to be a learning curve. Like I said, last year we jumped into it. We were hoping to get some laps and learn, but we unfortunately spent enough, a lot huh? of time working on it, which uh, we didn't really expect, but. Uh, it is what it is, and we'll, we're just going to try to capitalize from there and hopefully have a good season. So you never had that one night where everything was running well enough where you were able to learn? Um, our first really? night out actually was the best night we had. And, That's not good. <laughs> but, we didn't, but we didn't have any breaks. So uh, oh. but it was the night we passed the most cars, and we got in, and it, it was uh, kind of downhill from there. But mm-hmm. that's racing. I, uh, what do you expect when you just jump into okay. it and go? So. Three at Brewer and four at Fulton. Are we thinking yeah. kind of both tracks, or might we concentrate on one? No, just Fulton this year. Okay. We're going to just run the small block there and um, hit as many in-between shows as we can. That's mm-hmm. the plan so far. So, And I would imagine, since you don't have a lot of experience, maybe a couple at Brewer and maybe the Brewer and practice just to get yourself Yeah, we'll go hit as many of the test and tunes as we can. Um, maybe an occasional race at, at Brewer I really like Brewer I mm-hmm. just, I don't know. I don't feel like it's is fun when you're beating your small oh, sure. block up you know mm-hmm. and there's a track on a saturday night that runs small blocks so yeah and a track you've got a lot of laps at but right. i know you always liked brewed and it must have yeah. been refreshing to see amy holland yeah. win in a small block yeah it is nice to see small blocks be competitive there for sure um but like i said we're we're not going to go there and beat up our small block stuff because we're going to okay. concentrate on fulton and um we've always ran good at fulton and we've got a lot of laps there so it's our Best shot, I would say. Okay. And not that I'm trying to convince you, but a couple of people told me that on those nights that it really does get slick, the small block is almost better come feature time. Is that right at Brewer? Or yeah, I guess you could say far? that, but I, if you're power, starting, right? it depends on where you're starting. If you're starting okay. up front, yeah, you have a way better chance of maintaining. But, mm-hmm. I mean, if it's a real slick night, I don't think you're going to see small blocks That's still true. go from last to first, you yeah. know. Um, but it's uh, – it's just more preference for me. I'd rather just run with the small blocks and get the experience. And mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of the good big block drivers, you know what I mean? There's As far as me being inexperienced versus the big block guys, I feel like I'd be in their way, you know what I mean? So gotcha. i got to get some laps in and mm-hmm. try to figure this thing out, and hopefully it's works out good for us. Of course, I missed a lot of last year. Outside of Super Dirt Week, did they have a 358 Series race at Brewerton? Uh, they did. Or was it just the, the end of the year? Yeah, at the end in the hurricane. I, yeah, other I think than that, do. I don't think okay. so. All right. Should they, in your mind? Because uh, it's kind uh, of the well, I don't know track. if they do or not. I tell you why. I really haven't been following much. You go there's a, right. There's a lot of stuff going. Yeah, we go. Okay. Um, for sure. But uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to look at the schedule and see what we okay. got. Like I said, as far as small block stuff, we're going to try to hit as many as we can. So, so Weedsport would be in the picture. Oh yeah, then? we're going to try Weedsport. Super dirt week. So. Eh, we'll see how we got to get through the fall season first. Well, and you got to work too. That's yeah. the other thing I don't think that people realize yeah. realistically is that's quite a time commitment when you get down to it. So. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's not just you know those four days. You got to mm-hmm. be there. You got to be ready. You got to get right. your camper set up. Even when them guys leave Super Dirt Week, they're still probably a couple of days cleaning their stuff out. You know, that's um, true. So yeah, if I was going to have commitment and go there, then mm-hmm. I would definitely do it. But it would okay. be late in the season before we had a decision. By the way, I want to say thanks to Rudy Plumbing. Uh, if you guys are in the central New York, Central Square area, even too, uh, Baldwinsville, Liverpool, even in West Wego County, whether it's something as simple as a clog sink, a new install, or you're sitting there going, oh, it's 3 in the morning, my basement's flooding. They are the guys to call, so make sure to look them up. Appreciate you making time for me, and uh, I can't wait to see this thing on the track. You guys saw it. It's a great-looking car, so racing season can't get here soon enough, can it? No, we've been sitting here waiting. I don't think I can put any more wax on it, so... <laughs> good to see you man yeah thank you Take remember care. subscribe leave a comment if you'd like make sure to turn on the notifications all that good stuff we'll be back tomorrow with more uh, as we do have something cooked up in the afternoon for you hopefully that'll work out we'll have that up tomorrow night thanks again man yep thanks